Hey everyone, Skillsy Shooter here, coming at you with episode 26 of Quad Feed. I'm going to drop the podcast tagline since that, uh, you know, we're not actually a podcast. Well, we are. We're available on iTunes. Uh, I am aware that we've only put one episode up there for the time being, but uh, you can thank the lovely people at Podbean for only letting me have 300 megs to play with per month. But uh, I digress. We will move along swiftly from there. But yeah, go check that out. Um, as always, this will be on youtube.com forward slash skillsy shooter. I am, as always, joined by my stupendous panel of peeps. Minus one, of course. I'll let you guess who that potentially might be. Maybe the uh, Pasadoble didn't take and he needed a second lesson. So uh... hey, Maybe he heard that last week and he got really pissed off. He's like, fuck you guys for I that. I did think That's about fine. that. I did think oh, about I that. I didn't think of that. Yeah. Chris, buddy, come on. Come back. Oh, mate. Oh, we need God. you, Chris. We need you. We need the we need the light and dark contrast of Saints Row content, and you know, I need you to back me up on all Xbox One related stuff as well. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> uh, well, since I forgot about you uh, last week, Ron, how are you, mate? You're right. Yeah, yeah, good, good, good. Just like a little sick, but um, that's as Ben said earlier before the show. It's going around currently. That's. It it's probably good syphilis. you can't see me. I look fucking miserable because I'm just like sitting here all drowsy and my face is all red. So I'm glad this is just all audio. Yeah. And that seems to be like the standard thing to say is when someone says, oh, they've got the flu, the next thing someone's going to say, it's, oh, yeah, it's going around. Oh, it's going around. It's, 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 you need it's to validate almost, it to people. It's like people won't yeah, believe you. <laughs> it's, it's almost on par now with like talking about the weather or something like that. It's just on that mundane sort of level where it's just yeah it's gone round it's, it's yep. not at the Even stupidity if it's not, you say it it's not at the stupidity level where like I, I did this once on the bus i'm sitting there and there was a pregnant lady there and it was like really quiet because there was nobody else and um just, she was sitting like pregnancy's going around isn't it cool yeah well, Bloody hell. that'd be awesome <laughs> but uh she was just sitting there and like she looks up says hi is like hi and then um i just pointed her belly and go so you're pregnant hey <laughs> And I just felt like the biggest fucking idiot. And I'm just like, ah, oh, you know, I'm just, and I start hitting the bus button, just like, oh, I'll just get off here and catch the next one. Why did you, why did you <laughs> feel inclined to, to strike I don't know, up a conversation about? She said hi. And I was like, well, I'll try my I'll reciprocate this. To be polite. <laughs> yeah. And it, you know, but see, that's, that's what happens when I'm polite. I fucking end up saying something really stupid. Better so. say something nice. So, oh, you're, you're pregnant, hey? So, you're a bit <laughs> fat then. <laughs> Well, that, pro- that, that probably would work, actually, because you say, you're, you know, when you try to be rude, you end up being awkward. So conversely, you could go, you know what? It's not going to be awkward if I say something completely rude. Mm. Yeah. See, and also, I didn't say something fucked up. I didn't punch her in the belly or anything. I I just said, no, nah, pregnant. Hey, awesome. What's that line in, like, the office Christmas special? It's like, just because some bloke blew his beans up your mouth <laughs> doesn't mean I have to stop smoking or something. Excuse me, unborn child here. So, oh, just become some useless tosser blew his beans up your mouth. Fuck off. That's awesome, though. That is such a good comment. You can have that one. You can have that one. I will. Yeah. I'll take it. Fun fact: he actually played the dad in the In Betweeners. There you go. All right. Oh yeah. Their, their second movie was filmed here in Australia too. Yeah. The second one. Yeah, yeah. yeah apparently, it's the In Betweeners movie. Oh, right. Cash it's cow. Like in Outback Australia. I have not seen the first. Oh. There's probably going to be another you know, occasion where Jay is going to be on some sort of ant nest, although <laughs> Australian red ants That's or something right. just bite him to pieces. Well, I, I suppose I have to check the show out first as well. <laughs> oh, you've got to. I, I mean, it's just, I just relive my childhood every time I, I see that. Even though I didn't go through the teenage aspects of uh, of that, it, it was I was really already on that course with my... Uh, with my upbringing, put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't quite get to the point where I was being so vulgar and chasing, chasing tail and talking about clunge and, <laughs> and all that. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Was it the clunge plunger? There you go, baby. <laughs> yeah. How you going, Betty? Not bad, how are you? You all right? Yeah, yeah. I finished my exams, which is... Awesome. Let the gaming begin. Guy. Let the gaming begin. Yeah, and then so I'm on holidays now. And then the girl I work with, um Is she hot or she put out? 
I'm not going to answer any of that. Is she and hot? Then, does she put out? <laughs> she does she listen like, to this? No. And is then she hot? She, does she put out? Answer it. <laughs> and then um, she's just like, oh, well, you're on holidays now, so I'm going to go on holidays too, so you can cover me for two weeks. It's like, yay, okay, then. I mean, the money's good, but kind of want to chill out for a bit. But you need holidays are fucking ages anyway, so. Oh, but um, is she hot? Then does she put out? No comment. We've addressed this what? before. He had no. He had no comment before. I I need I need closure on this anecdote. And you know what? I think I'm pretty sure our listeners want to fucking uh, answer as well. Ben, come on, out with it. Ben, just say she's as ugly uh, as a hat full of assholes. So um, yes and oh. no. Then there we go. That's pretty yes. generic. Is she hot? Yes. Did she put out? No. Ah, uh, bitch. Well, Fuck. No, she's not hot, but she puts out like a demon. <laughs> oh, awesome. <laughs> Everyone Hopefully was the same with the lights off. Yeah. yeah. Well, speaking of spare time, I suppose that's an adequate uh, two-wheeled segue into my first topic. Steam, baby. Steam. Steam. So, okay, I wasn't sure. I was like, this could be... This could be things. anything, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Steam and Steam sales. Oh, aren't now, they just whimsical? Thanks to uh, my lovely friend Ben here. It's kind of like my first, I mean, I did, I have had my beast of a PC for over a year. So I have had the opportunity for said Steam summer sale exposure, but this year I felt like I kind of got more into it than what I did last year. Yeah, likewise. So take me through your list. What have you uh, uh, respectively what have purchased? I purchased? I have, I actually wrote it down. Not... Uh, here we are talking about oh we've gone we've gone crazy uh, my list is actually not that long at all well it's probably longer uh, than yours yeah okay I've got Battle Block Theatre people they are talking about their penises <laughs> did they make that Battle clear? Block Theatre which Gab the fucking intro for that I was in tears mm. it is fucking piss funny I'm gonna go watch it again well you directed I, me to the the, uh, the trailer on the trailer. Uh, on Steam I thought you know what even if this wasn't on my radar and it wasn't, <laughs> clearly. I would have probably bought it on the strength of the... I mean, I think the line was, if you're... So when your pants get filled with feces or something. <laughs> I'm sorry, thought, what the fuck is you guys talking about? It's a game. I have no knowledge of it. I yeah. haven't played minute one of it. Uh, ben played a bit of it last night, but... Yeah. It's just a good it's just like platformer. It's a platformer, but like just fucking hilarious. I'd never heard of it before. I, I think it was on... Um, X, uh, 360 before or something like that. Like an Xbox um, Arcade kind of... Yeah, thing. and it's been ported over. I, I, I don't know. Um, I only heard about it because now it's on PC and a few people on YouTube have been playing it. Um, and I didn't watch that much of it. And then I was just like, why is everyone going on about this game? So I watched the trailer, pissed my pants, <laughs> and then it was on sale like 75% off. Uh, and it was like, I think it was it was 3 bucks seventy. So I was just like, can't go wrong. Grab cup it, cup whatever. Of coffee. Yeah, so I grabbed it, um, and just the just when you you press start and the the game is like starting and you're gonna go into your character. Oh my god, I was just in tears with laughter. What is this okay. game called? Battle Block Theater. All right, I got. I'm just gonna have us look at a couple screenshots or something. Is it three person co op? Well? Uh, I think it's two person. I, I haven't I haven't played enough of it to even know. I've done literally the first level. It's too hard, like, well, not too hard, but it's a bit uncomfortable with keyboard and mouse. Mm -hmm. um, so I actually, oh, right, yeah, you'll be happy. I, I ordered a um, an Xbox One. Holy shit, really? Yeah, just the controller, though. But uh, <laughs> Xbox One controller's on its way to me. I was waiting for the pause. That was yeah. amazing. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. That one validation so... <laughs> is like, we've converted him. Rejoice with me, Ron. And it's like, yeah. I just want Xbox One. Controller. Controller. <laughs> oh. Um, because it's, I, I will, you know, I think it's great that they've done the the, P, the PC drivers and all that sort of stuff. So it's going to work properly, not through the third party sort of thing, which we talked about a few episodes ago. So I'm super stoked about that. So you know, if they're going to do it, I'm going to buy it. So no allegiance. So you know what though, it's a drip feed. There might be something that you just can't get on a PC. That you know what, I'm halfway there. I've got the control. Well, not halfway, obviously. That's... I'm I'm a tenth of the way there. I'm going to pull the trigger and get an Xbox One. Oh yeah, that's the marketing. They've got to get you know. It's if PlayStation, feed. yeah, if PlayStation had the drivers, I would have bought the PlayStation controller. Mm. And you know, I'm kind of tossing up about getting. Well, not really. You're a kind slut. of, sort of. You're a slut. I know. You'll take but it from anyway, 
<laughs> anyway, so I've got the controller coming. I can't wait for that because there's a few car racing games coming out, which I really want to play with a controller. Mm. Um, but yeah, Battle Block Theatre will be way better with a controller too. Um, I also bought Nether. Um, I mentioned this ages ago, and it's kind of like a DayZ sort of game, survival, blah, 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 generic bullshit sort of thing, but it kind of looked like a lot of fun. And that was on sale, I think, for a few, but I think it was like three bucks, 50 or 70 or some shit like that as well. I haven't even been able to create an account. It's just, they've got no fucking idea. So mm. I've had to put in like a ticket to try and sort it out. I can't validate shit. doesn't recognize me. Everyone seems to be having the same problems as well. So that's pretty bullshit. It's a good experience so far then. Good. Oh, I'm loving it. Loving it. 10 out of 10. <laughs> um, Metal Slug 3. So that's awesome. I might get that one actually. No, yeah. No. That's, that's, I think it's got co-op too. Mm-hmm. Cool. So that'd be sick. Stay tuned. Um, yeah. Tomb Raider. That, that should be that was five bucks, man. Oh, yep. Five bucks for Tomb Raider. Yeah. God, console peasants are laughing, aren't you? Um, <laughs> and then <laughs> um, KSP finally got that. Um, well, I, was, I was using my brother's one. He he bought that ages ago. Describe that, that to me. I I you mentioned that before, and I had no recollection if we'd actually just dis, uh, discussed it on the show before. Yeah, it's KSP called Kerbal Space Program. Basically, you design um either like spacecraft which can take off from like a runway um or mainly it's basically um space shuttles which basically yeah you go you you design it with all the rockets um fuselage um aerodynamics fuel all that sort of stuff and uh, you launch into space and you can go from planet to planet and everything and it's just all physics based so you know you've got to time it all your burns perfectly you got to have enough fuel. You can't have, like, too much fuel so you're too heavy and you don't move along when you're trying to leave Earth's atmosphere. But, you know, you need enough fuel to move around. And it's just, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. And it's, it's kind of funny too. So, um, yeah, I'll be looking forward to that because finally I'll have it on my computer. I don't have to play it on my brother's computer. So it's pretty cool. And I also got Grid as well. That just came out, like, today or yesterday, um, which is just, like, another arcade racing car game. How much was that? Uh, I think that was like 40 bucks. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Oh, right. Uh, I don't remember how much it was. I mean, that's a that's a launch. Like, it was launched in what, the last couple? Last day or two. So? Oh, day yeah. or two. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it was on sale I think, from memory too. So, um, okay. Yeah. Um, sorry, yeah, $49. But I'm pretty sure that was on sale. I can't remember. Right. Yeah. Ronald, have you delved? Have you delved into anything? No, not at all. Not at all? No, I... Didn't go to dandy local EB and thought, you know, I want a piece of the action and then I'll go and buy a oh, um, Xbox One game. Or an Xbox One for that matter. Yeah, well, that's true. But um, I'm actually playing now on the Xbox One with my own account, which I probably should have done from the start. So if you ever see that... Mark's you'll... stats are fucked right now. I, I, I've made him look so fucking good <laughs> because I've just like up like all of the shit in Titanfall like, you probably made him look good yeah yeah exactly and that well, and he never plays that but um lately I've uh, checked out Dark Souls because you know all the ones that are free uh, free with gold yes Dark Souls that <laughs> that's my first experience with Dark Souls and um you're loving uh, it not It'd be interesting. It, it is ridiculously annoying oh, yeah. but it, it 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 is really true with the whole like uh, once you do kill a boss, you're just so happy, and uh, like even the things like uh, where you save at, um, campfires, um, all the enemies um, come back to life again, just like all the foot soldiers, and um, they fucking yeah. they and like it's, it's not forgiving at all, like it's yeah. punishing, and like once you figure out how to like kill certain people. Like, um, the first couple guys that I killed, um, uh, you know, I was just like, holy fuck, man, this is ridiculous. And now I'm just luring them out one by one and then just taking them down one by one. And, um, uh, then there's the dudes with the shields, the bigger fellas, dudes with the like halberds and, um, the arrow dudes and shit. Like uh, they're fucking really pissing me off, but I, I'm like going around in circles over and over every single time I die, just try it again, just try it again. And uh, it feels good when you kind of like know you can just run through places, and um, and all it took was missing three days of work 
and uh, yeah, you know, half of your sanity, a bottle yeah. of sleeping pills, and uh... <laughs> I was like fucking punching the pillow like after a couple playthroughs, you know, and uh, so you I, I I was I was gonna say fisting the pillow because that's technically <laughs> what I was doing. Well, you know, biting like fisting him. He was biting the pillow, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, I know you get down. I love being a pillow biter. <sighs> Shit. Anyway, but um, um, yeah, I'm gonna keep on persisting. I'm gonna try my best. See how far I can get in it. Until... Have you played number? You're not talking about number two, are you? You're talking no, about no, just one? the first one. Yeah, the first yeah, one's yeah. the one that came out free. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I played number two, and that's I can't play it. It's just it's too unforgiving. How long have you quit? Um, this I, got, is number... I got to the second boss, and then I'm like, okay, I need. Oh, mate, to I didn't even get to. I didn't. No, I didn't even get to the first boss. Really? I was just like, yeah, no. Nah. Uh, it would have been easy, a little bit easier with a controller, um, <laughs> but. I was just like, no, nah, I don't. I'm not, I'm not even having fun. Like it's just, just it's just shit. It doesn't even look nice. Like, I mean, it looks, one, yeah, you know. it, it doesn't look the best. But um, one thing that is cool is uh, when other people play online, you can see their ghosts, and um, oh, that's cool. Yeah, you can see them where they fought, and like um, uh, they can leave messages for you. So it's like you know, uh, three sword guys up ahead. Or, oh, that's cool. I like that. Yeah. It's really, really handy with that, and you know, you don't really feel alone, which is uh, actually pretty nice about Dark Souls. But some of them are fucking cunts. Some of them leave like messages. It's like, oh, there's nothing downstairs. Go for it. And I'd go all the way down these three flights of stairs, and um, like seven hundred people just, waiting for you. Yeah, it's like I just got past this section. I'm like, oh, cool. This is probably like um, a cheat, or not a cheat, just like a way to avoid the main boss, uh, the second boss, and. Um, you go down there, the guy fucking kills me with one hit. <laughs> and I fucking just, you fucking cunt! Like, I just yelled it out at the screen. And, uh, fuck you, whoever put that down there. <laughs> like, personally, from me to you, fuck you. Game right? devs, if you're listening. No, the, not to the devs, they, they did good, I suppose. But that fucking asshole who put, left that message, nobody's downstairs, don't worry about it. I didn't even get halfway down. Like, the guy who with the massive club, he saw me, and he just starts chasing me. I'm like, no, 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 no. Just keep on running and running. He raped me then. In in the game. In the, in the game. Thanks for clarifying. I had to. Hey. Um. What did I get? What did I get? Well, let's go top. Well. Oh, I have also checked out uh, Saints Row Three. That was free as well. You know, in, in an extension to what you were saying before, I've set a calendar event to remind me on the 2nd and 16th of each month on my phone to go off to say, download the latest uh, Xbox Games yeah. of Gold kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to the next... Because, I mean, technically speaking, you're getting, what is it, four games four games a month now? Very much. And it's launched with uh, the 360, I think. Pretty sure it has. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm... Street Fighter was uh, last month. and uh, That's right. Dark Souls. I missed out on Dark Souls by one day, but by the sounds of it, it doesn't sound like I missed anything apart from a brain aneurysm. Yeah, that's uh, true. Um, but yeah, Saints Row. I don't. Did I, I was going to pull the trigger on that and get it. Even pull the trigger. It's free. Um, huh. Yeah. But no, st- Street Fighter. I mean, that was a nostalgic trip in itself. Fuck, I should have got that because I, I could have played you. I was so pissed off though, because I, I, not knowing what was coming up, or well, I didn't keep my ears close to the ground to figure out that it was actually coming on 360, was I actually bought it on PC probably about two weeks prior to that. Oh, really? So I've got it on two platforms. I might as well just. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. Fail. Fail, fail, fail. <clears throat> um, what did I buy? Well, after Ben's recommendation, and Ben will attest to this. I started playing it for about two minutes. Uh, a game called Gary's Mod. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. uh, flooded on YouTube. It looks to be a lot of fun. Um, but when, when, when when you figure it out? When you figure it out, because apparently it's just you know it's Minecraft with a laser beam at the moment, from what yeah. I can see. Uh, I got um, The Witcher Two. Oh, cool. Um, How is it? I haven't played it. You know, oh. in the in the tried and tested uh, history of of Steam, Steam buy sales. all the games. Don't buy half of them. Uh, don't play half of them. Don't, yeah, exactly. 
Um, looking forward to getting involved with that one though. That sounds good. That's more of a readiness thing, just in case there was any sort of continuation for The Witcher Three that I need to be aware of. Um, I don't think there is, but still. Well, it'll be good because if you like number two, uh, that means you'll really like number three. Uh, well, in theory, because uh, apparently number two is like pretty average. Because it looks so very dark soulsy. I mean, that's purely yeah. from a personal you know standpoint with no knowledge of the game whatsoever. Um, but it looked very dark soulsy. But still, at that price point, I was still adhering to your seventy five percent, seventy five or more, or, yep. or GTFO. Um, <laughs> so I got that one. Uh, bought Tomb Raider as well because I. Was uh, I don't know? Maybe it was an effect of the E3 and seeing you know snippets of the new Tomb Raider that's going to be on the on the PS4. I thought, yeah. yeah. And I mean, everyone said they loved it, and it was it, a really good game. Yeah. Yeah, and for five bucks, really, it's it's kind of like guaranteed going to be good. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I bought uh, Battlebook Theater as well, so I got that one. In addition, I suppose to the games that I'm currently playing right now, like. Uh, Watch Dogs and what's the other one? I'm just looking at my shortcuts here. Um, no, just Watch Dogs actually. Sleeping Dogs was the, another the Xbox Live game that I was going to, I think I missed out on that by a couple of days. That's great. Yeah. Had no, it's great that you missed out. Oh, right. Oh, no, <laughs> no, no, no I'm hearing it's, it's been... Oh, okay, it's a great yeah. Game. Yeah, yeah, I'm hearing it's fantastic. Say, I, yeah. I, thought, I thought being of... Uh, of uh, Mexican heritage, Mexican slash filler heritage, you know, we haven't figured it out yet. That uh, you would kind of gravitate towards that more than. Hey, I think it's awesome that there's an Asian protagonist. <laughs> yeah. That's like literally why I got it. I was going to actually buy that game, but there was something else out that I that I got when it came out, and I can't remember what it was. But um, as soon as I saw Sleeping Dogs, I'm like, fuck yeah, I'm getting that. And it is awesome. It is awesome. I still remember. Uh, Jay's playthrough with Major Ghibli and uh, he was just going through it you know you know, grabbing women and putting them in the boots of car and then driving off to the pier and then jumping out the last second and having the, the car just like sink to the bottom of the ocean <laughs> see you love see you. Yeah. sorry it didn't work out bye bye <laughs> that was always hilarious that's like the only episode I can't find on YouTube I don't know why it got taken down for some reason I can't imagine why but but yeah, that was kind of my my the summer of skills. Yeah, and it's still still plenty still to go. Going. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, it'll be over the weekend for us where the, the it'll be the final few days, and apparently, um, you know, that's when the real big crazy deals are going to be going on. So uh, it'll be interesting to keep our eyes peeled uh, for that. So I'm really looking forward to that. So if something awesome comes up, uh, yeah, I'll be snapping it up too. But it's just. Not that much, really, that I want at the moment. So pretty much the stuff that I bought was because it was just, like, really cheap. Um, and, you know, for the price, I can't really complain. Um, you would, you so, would yeah. think for a, a brand-new console year that they would be... It was in the, be in their best interest to, like, flood the market with games that you could also buy on the on the previous platform. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, just to try and get it just to score some points just to say hey you know what we're still a medium that you know generally can get better graphics and gameplay out of right. um and here you go at a at a cut price i mean it tomb raider was released in the last year on ps3 and yet you're able to snap it up for five bucks yeah apply that to a lot of the other great games that you know we it may still be coming um in the in the coming days kind of thing if you apply that to some of the the truly great Sort of end of life uh, games of the PS3 and, and 360. I mean, they could call, yeah. some, call some money back on that and actually well, try and convert people, if anything. Yeah, and I mean, but that's the thing as well. Like, if you ever walk past like eBay games or anything like that, yeah, they've got the bargain bin, but you never see them for five bucks. No. Nah. Nah. I mean, yeah, I know, don't get me wrong, I know it's a physical copy and everything, but yeah, mm. I mean, anyway. It's just. <laughs> it's just bullshit, man. Yeah. Well, that is actually a topic I have for later, and that is uh, that can kind of be a, a segue for for later on. Cool. Cool. Uh, new topic. Yeah. Should I crack open my uh, humble pie now? Ah, that's it. Ben's been baking today. Uh, I've been baking today. 
And uh, if you can smell that, it's kind of like cinnamon, apple, cinnamon? and a little bit of shame. What the fuck are you two talking about? <laughs> Take it away, Ben. Um, a few. Uh, we ha- how many episodes ago was? It would have been a few episodes ago, maybe yeah. three or whatever. Uh, we were talking about the new Wolfenstein game, uh, the New Order, and I was just like bagging it out, saying adamant oh, it was going to be a heap of German shit, steaming pile of chase. Chase. Ronald, you're part German as well. Is it chase or Chaser? Chaser. There's an a, there's an A on the end. Yeah. Fucking hell, man. All right. I've been swearing in German you... wrong all this no, time. No, I always say Scheiser. Well, Scheiser. I always used to say Scheiser, Scheiser. And then I heard some dialect people not pronouncing the A on the end, and it sounded yeah. way more authentic. And they were just like saying, oh, Scheiss. And I was like, oh, that sounds so much better. So that's I, how I, I was saying it. I'd but... assume there would be like uh, different dialects and that kind of shit. Like, um, like you know how French. we call um, – uh, uh, beer steins, or we call them steins, right? The mm. leader steins. Mm. Yeah. Um, uh, Germans call them mass. Mm. And they, like, I, I've got a couple German, like, friends that I drink with, and they're like, uh, why do you guys keep calling them steins? They're not steins. So I'll say it as best as I can in their accent. Why do you keep calling them steins? They are not steins. They are mass. And I'm like, oh, okay, fuck. I don't know. Jesus. Say nine. Um, it's, I've, it's, I've got the say blood nine blood. to the stein. <laughs> Yeah, that's phrase. Yeah, and yeah, so like they pronounce everything. There's a different way to say everything, and like I'll say, uh, "Good nacht," right? Good night. Mm-hmm. And um, they'll say, I think it's like "Schlafe gut" or something like that, which good, is also the same. Abend. Hey, guten Abend. What what does that even mean? I think it's afternoon, isn't it? Good afternoon. Good, good Abend. Good, yeah, good, good, good day. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, like um, is it? I've got it right here. Hold on, fuck. Yeah, schlaf gut, and I'm I'm like I I said, what the fuck does that mean? It's like it's just like saying good night. I'm like, oh okay, so I suppose there's a couple of different ways to say everything. Yeah, entirely. Anyway, go on. What were you all the way wow. back? <laughs> German German lessons with Ron, yeah. part one. Uh, uh, hmm. Lesson one. Order a Chase. beer. Chaser. <laughs> Order a beer anyway. and learn shit. I thought it was going to be a steaming pile of shit. Maybe that was easier to say that one. Um, I grabbed a copy and I had so much freaking fun with it. Yeah. I loved it so much. Yeah, I mean, in Who terms of bring- found a Nazi in his own piss. Yeah, yeah, you could do all that sort of stuff. I mean, I I really thought it was going to be um, the same old shit. It, it it kind of is in the sense of like uh, mechanics behind it, where really there's nothing sort of new. But the storyline is fantastic. The gameplay is, like, really good. Like, the levels are great. Um, Cutscenes and everything are really good. Um, the characters are, like, proper in it. Like, the crazy people are just, like, like Deathhead. Like, he's crazy. Um, yeah. And I just had heaps of fun. Like, I really didn't want it to finish. Um, so, yeah. Humble pie eaten. <laughs> I, I don't really understand that term, to be honest, but, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it was delicious. Well, I mean, humble pie isn't supposed to be delicious. It's supposed to be, you know, burnt or slightly bitter. bitter or, yeah. yeah. But still, it's. I mean, it, it, it's funny I, It's funny you say that because I remember there being, there was an article a couple of days ago, which it might have been a podcast I was listening to, where an argument was made for all the hype for Watch Dogs and for, I suppose, all the quote-unquote, under the radar of Wolfenstein. It seemed like there was a bit of role reversal in that. People were enjoying, yeah. Watch Dog, were enjoying Wolfenstein more than they were enjoying Watch Dogs thanks to all the you know, graphical degradation and all the glitches and all that sort of shit. Mm. Wolfenstein, straight out of the box, whack it in, have some it's fun. It works, yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I mean, we were talking about it before. I mean, I, I had both games. Um, I have barely played any of Watch Dogs. Um, but Wolfenstein, I could barely put it down. I mean, I got my final uni exams and my I took well, way too many study breaks just so I could dual wield some, you know, machine guns and some kill so some Nazis like, and stuff. Instead of like, um, you know, actual study break resting, which is rubbing one out, you played Wolfenstein. It's yep. good though, you know, letting some steam. Well, he makes a good point though, because that retrospectively could be an indication of how much 
he enjoyed the game by how poorly he did in his exams. Oh, oh I thought you were going to say how poorly he jacks himself <laughs> off. <laughs> like, oh, I'd rather fucking kill some Nazis than... It could uh, be like, I got 43 in my recent exam, which means I'm giving this game 57 out of 100. <laughs> yeah. Whereas I would give Watch Dogs zero, and I got full marks for all of my exams. Hey, um, I, I, I'm enjoying Watch Dogs. I, so am I. I yeah, I, no, I just, have, I, I just haven't played enough of it. Um, yeah. Now that I've finished my exams, I can get into the story, and I'm sure I'll love it. But just Wolfenstein just had me like straight from the start. And I, you know, I like I love the the very first Wolfenstein 3D like on you know floppy disk like when loading it off from my MS DOS. Um, huh. Yeah. So it's good. It was, it was even the little pixelated level and everything. So that that was cool. Like the first level with all the secret rooms too. So yeah. You know what I realized oh, though? With uh, I mean, it's not a blanket statement, but like I'm so getting over reviews now you just can't trust them <laughs> can't trust them and yeah, yeah you know, reviews but, have always been dumb like uh, somebody said like i i'd always apply them to movies so i'm gonna be like oh you know uh, somebody be talking about i don't know, give, give me to say one movie right now uh, that's come out last couple of years uh james bond what yeah. All those, oh, okay, well, fuck those movies. Anyway, see, that's the thing. Like, those those are pretty much enjoyed movies, right? I watched yeah. them and I found them really boring. And somebody will be like, the only thing that I remember from all those movies are in Casino Royale, the the, tor- the ball torture part. <laughs> that's it. That's the only part that I'm like, ha, ah, that kind of stands out. I'll remember that. And, like, the rest of them are like, no, nah, I don't care. I just, yeah. I find them all boring. But that's my personal opinion. And... I can't wait for your IMDb site. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> Every movie just based on stuff that you remember. Yeah. Well, uh, James I Bond. I didn't really enjoy the movie, but I loved the part when he was having his balls taken off him. Yeah, that was <laughs> quite enjoyable to watch. I'm going to give this two test schools out of four. <laughs> that's No, it would be out of two because, like, you know... I Two out of two. That's, two that's, that's how much yeah. I enjoyed it. Two plums up. There you go. Yeah. Sorry, as you were saying, though... Um, <laughs> well, I think, I mean, it, and, and logistically, it's probably just not even possible, but the, you know, the, the hopes and dreams of a development studio or a game in, in general and the sales that come off the back of a review, um, you know, lie in the hand of one particular person. So if, if it's not a collective kind of review score, or like every major designer, or not designer, every major journalist at IGN or GameSpot or Polygon or whoever, if they would take a a mean average of of every score that they gave um, each individual person and then use that on the basis of their score, really you're just you know, narrowing it down to a person that might not be a fan of FPSs, so he's only gonna score Call of Duty. I mean Call of Duty's a bad example because you know, I haven't seen that average anything less than like eight point five for the last fucking four years mm. but a game that might not uh, resonate with someone as what it would do with someone who might be a fan huge fan of the zelda series or um you know splinter cell or metal gear solid or any of these sort of ips that you know are getting to the point where they're now year on year and yet if it's put in the hands of a person that hasn't really been a fan of that franchise then there's every possibility that you know a, a score of eight out of ten could result in you know a hundred thousand units of uh, of a game being sold, and obviously the resulting revenue that comes from a hundred thousand. Hundred thousand just a nice small round number, but I mean it could be something in the millions. Mm. If Titan Four got a better score um, on some of the other websites, what's to say that that couldn't be couldn't have been as big a success as what Watch Dogs has? And even then, Watch Dogs. In spite of all its like technical difficulties with the whole video card and glitching and patches and all that sort of stuff, that's the highest grossing new IP um, in history. Is, is that stuff only happening to PC users? From what I understand, yes. Ah, right, yeah, because that, that, I think that's why I kind of really enjoyed it. I haven't had any fuck ups and I've really had like a really good time with it so far. You're on the Xbox One? That's right. Yeah. So I'm playing on PC, and now, only now, 
and I said it to Ben a couple of nights ago, I've got my settings down pat. And and that's kind of the reason why my Watchdog series um, never even got off the starting blocks because oh, wow. I, was, I was going through it and recording the footage and then for some unknown reason, um, and I think this is probably pre the very first patch that they put out, it would look like someone's in the in the city at the light switch, just turning lights on and off again. Like the video card was just looked like it was failing or something. Yeah. Or doing yeah. something really badly. Um, you know, and by that stage, I was probably about two, three hours deep into the game. I wasn't, wasn't going to start all over again. So there you go. Watchdogs play through, dead and buried. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I trying to figure out what the actual basis of the question was. <laughs> was there a question in there? Or Reviews I... and stuff. Yeah, Reviews. you're going to shoot on yeah. review. So, I mean, let, let's take Grid for example. Gr- uh, Chris uh, Bender sport Grid. It got f- uh, six on GameSpot and eight point three on IGN. I mean, how is there that disparity yeah. between the two? But it's this like is handing yeah. Ron a copy of Forza and saying, "Review this with all the best intentions in the world," and then giving Ben, you know, a game that Ron absolutely loves. Yeah, but, but it would be an awesome game because if I like it, it's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> but that you know, obviously, it's all subjective and everything. But that's what, this is what we were talking about like in you- pretty much our very first episode, mm-hmm. and then. I was saying, you know, it all depends on the rubric that they're referring it to, where how they mark it. I mean, yeah, if it's just personal opinion and you get those marks, okay, then yeah, that's why they can have those um, variation of scores. But that's not really fair, just because you have a different opinion. You have to refer the game to a set list or rubric, which then all the games are subjected to. So I don't know how that, there's a massive disparity in the scores. I don't know how it works. There's something I should probably Google. <laughs> but, you know. I, I tend to find uh, people's comments after seeing, like, uh, reviews or reading reviews or watching review videos. And um, I love, I, I so prefer their comments. Like, yeah. somebody will point out, like, well, in your review, you said blah, 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 blah. Um, that's not a problem with somebody who, like, you know, they, they, they'll say something like, oh, the controls are, like, too... Um, uh, loose or some shit like that. It's like, well, then just change it. Like mm-hmm. uh, something really, really tiny that, like, uh, there was there was a really good example that I had. Probably not going to remember it. Sorry, fellas. But um, uh, where a reviewer said that there, there was like one little thing that pissed them off, and that's why the score was like lowered. It was probably a sexism thing. It might have been for Grand Theft Auto. It but, probably uh, was, and I could probably name the person it was about. Yeah, well, there you go. But like, um, it was, it was, the I was just like, wait, transgender uh, one, uh, Carolyn Pettit, I think, that works at Gamespot, and she was right. getting death threats because, like, yeah, I don't, I don't think people should comments. go to fucking death threats because that's just fucking retarded. It's, yeah, it's fucking a homicidally insane. I, I tend to sound and am and act, and uh, I, I, I don't think anybody should really resort to that. It is an opinion. I, I just I thought it was just kind of like oh that's kind of slack that um it, the review went down just because of something that affected you you know what I mean mm. it, it's it's a recommendation to like everybody if um like if you're ever getting if you've ever been beat up or something like that or you you've been mugged and you're reviewing the UFC game are you going to give that game two out <laughs> two out of ten no no exactly that's it's like it's a really good way of putting it I'm just like uh, no exactly uh, I I can't use any of the moves I can't fight for shit. I will pull a fucking gun on them, but I probably won't shoot them. Which is why you'll give GTA a good score. Maybe. Because <laughs> you can just pull yeah. a gun on them. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. No, no, no I like rockets. I, I mean, like that, that kind of turned into a, you know, a grind to my gears section, which, which Ben mm. is usually historically <laughs> a fan historically, of how many, how many times has he done it? Hasn't he done it like twice only? Twice. Well, well officially well, twice, twice. But we've all had our gripes to do with something else. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of which... Battlefield Hardline. You guys been playing it? Uh, I completely forgot I even was on the beta. Fuck every Battlefield game. Yeah, uh, except for number four. Um, and number three. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, fuck, just fuck all of them. Apart from Battle, uh, Bad Company 2. That was probably my favourite. <laughs> that was great. That was hilarious. Number two, that, that was great. I used to play that on PC. Like, massive 64-person servers. That was heaps of fun. Mm. 
three was good, four was had the potential to be like the best fucking thing ever, but it was just thrown like shit. The thing that gets me is that, and you know, as uh, the owner of Battlefield Four, and I guess if I played it more, it probably would annoy me a bit more. But I think the biggest takeaway that people got from from Hardline is what this is how stable and how good Battlefield Four should have been, and yet <clears> it seems like Battlefield Four is just like, well, it's been out for you know seven eight months now. Let's put it on the back burner, concentrate on Hardline. And the beta, if anything, you know, when at a point in time when you're supposed to be ironing out the kinks in your server, uh, server code, and you know, distribution, and server loads, and all that sort of stuff. Even though I didn't particularly fancy the game itself, um, it ran it ran infinitely better than what Battlefield Four has ever done. Yeah. So they're like, we'll sell you our first game. We'll make it, it's shit, it doesn't work. And then now we're going to sell it to you again in the form of Cops and Robbers, but it works this time, Mm. in theory, maybe. We don't know yet. So that's why now they're all talking about don't pre-order it, don't buy it when it comes out, wait to see what it's like first. You were saying that Polygon sort of went out on a limb and said, don't order this or don't pre-order this or don't... Yeah, yeah, don't... don't, um, uh, They say... I won't buy Hardline Beta at launch and neither should you sort of thing. So just, yeah, wait. I'm kind of of that opinion as well. Battlefield yeah. 4 burnt me. Um, and I think to a certain extent, Battlefield 3 as well, even though I love the shit out of it, there were distinct periods of time where I'd be like, I really feel like playing Battlefield 3. I'd play it, get it out of my system, and I probably wouldn't pick it up for another month, month and a half. Mm. and Because, I mean, that was in a year where Call of Duty was strong with Black Ops 2. So it's kind of like, yeah, it weighed up more bias towards Black Ops 2 than Battlefield 3. And then this time around, I mean, Ghost was a complete fuck up, Battlefield 4, complete fuck up. And uh, probably haven't played either of those in in weeks. Maybe not months, but certainly weeks. Yeah, it's all been about Titanfall and all been about uh, some of the other games that I've decided to pick up. Yeah. And... and <laughs> And that being said, the new Call of Duty we were talking about, I think that it looks like it's going to be fun. Yeah, yeah. Like the the, the um, cinematic for it, you know. And I, how many fucking times have I said I'm never going to buy Call of Duty again? <laughs> but I watched the cinematic and I was like, oh shit, this looks like it's going to be fun. Like I was like angry. I was like, yeah. why couldn't it be shit? Sort of thing. Like I don't want to buy another one. Um, but no, this looks like it's going to be good. It's like seeing a really hot woman. You're like. Damn it! It makes you angry that you're that attractive. <laughs> God, I'm gonna fucking kill her so no one else. Is can it have even her. possible? Well, yeah, you're probably as dumb as a rock, but you look unbelievable. It's making me angry. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and and I think that kind of goes in in line with what uh, you know Woody has said before, and I'm you know and many times again I'm paraphrasing, but. I think games like that and games like Call of Duty. I mean, Call of Duty Ghost was a shocking port to PC mm. um, there are just some games that are just built for a console market and mm. Call of Duty is one of those so um, it'll just be a case of what I decide to buy it on uh, I'm not going to make the same mistake I did with Titanfall with PC and, and Xbox One I'll probably buy that if anything on the PS4 mm. OMG I'm like, are you going to get the white one? Yeah, good segue. Good segue. Cool. I have I have accepted cool. a challenge. I have a uh, I have a drum of uh, it's one of those ten dollar note sort of um, uh, coin boxes, like cylindrical. Yeah, the similar the ten dollar yeah. note, and yep. that thing is full to the brim. So full, in fact, that you can't actually put coins in anymore. You have to sort of slide it in sideways, like you're feeding coins into a note a note machine kind of thing. The thing probably weighs about 15 kilos. Obviously, full to the brim with fives, tens, twenties, fifties, whatever. I've oh, also so- got sorry. a shelf which holds all my aftershaves. Um, and you cannot see the white of the shelf. It's just covered in coins. I went. I spent maybe five, ten minutes on it um, earlier this week. And just sorting through the, the 50 cent pieces, I've got 60 bucks just lined at the front. And I still can't see the the white of the shelf. So 
I reckon by the time I go through that and the time I go through my huge 15 kilo drum of loose change, I've probably got, I would say, half of my uh, PS4. My white PS4 Destiny pre-order. I, I reckon you'll have more in it. I reckon in... I'd like to have more. That'd be great. Yeah, I reckon in the... We should have a little competition to guess who can be the closest. Um, the winner gets the money jar. Kidding. Um, I reckon... The winner I gets re- my yeah. freshly wrapped Titanfall game. Yeah. <laughs> I should give that away, actually. I might do that in the week. I might uh, do some sort of uh, share, like, sub kind of thing. I don't yeah. know. Food for thought. Cool. Uh, I reckon you'll have about 450 in the cylinder. In the kitty? Yep. That'd be nice. That'd be helpful because I there, I did go through a stage there. I was like, you know what? I'm only going to put gold in there. Oh, so there was some gold in there for sure. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, it leads into another topic which I read uh, just the other day. In that, a person who has wanted to re- uh, stay anonymous, um, Chris. Hey, what was was it, Chris? What do you mean? Person who wants to stay anonymous. Oh, no, no, no. This was a person at... Uh, gaming industry. In the gaming industry. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, who, who is it? Who's been working... On, well, I don't know who it is, you muppet. Oh. <laughs> Stay with me. I'm going to get there. <laughs> um, we're working on The Division, and apparently it's already gone through a series of... Um, how can I phrase it? Degradations. In order, dumbing downs. Dumbing downs, yeah. Visual dumbing downs and uh, sort of graphical assets turned off. Oh. Similar to Watch Dogs oh. in order for there to be not so much of a disparity between uh, next-gen consoles and PCs. Ah. Uh. Yeah. It doesn't affect you. Ah. Uh. <laughs> well, it's just disappointing anyway, you know? Like, how can you hear that and just not kind of be like, oh, that's shit. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, Boogie did a really good video uh, the other day on um, how yeah, you, know, you know, the whole PC master race kind of thing. It, whilst it does get a bit of a beat up, you know, if you've essentially spent quote unquote three grand or something on your console, and that is your console, why aren't you getting the benefits for the? Wait, the, you mean three grand on your PC? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, you said console, but yep. Yeah, but so, sorry. Okay. Yeah, yep. in, a, in an audio format, you can't see me doing my bunny, my inverted commas kind of thing. So, ah. if your PC is your quote unquote console and you've just dropped three grand on it, aka me, um, you know, you, you expect to get the the highest amount of graphical fidelity out of it, especially if you've got two whack and great video cards in there. Mm. But in the eyes of the you know the consumer, obviously, and I'm wanting to make next gen look as close to um you know a dumbed down pc version sacrifices have had to uh have had to be made so but yes that's it is another thing as well i mean to be a pc gamer as well that doesn't mean you have to spend three thousand dollars on a pc yeah you can do that we've done that pretty much well you have i did it on about half that yeah but <laughs> Even for the same price as a console, you can still make a PC that's as good as, but more than likely better than a console anyway. Oh, yeah. Um, but we just do it because we like having EPs, so... Well, but, I, I had ulterior motives as well. I mean, I'm, I'm oh, yeah, no. the video side of things, the RAM was a pretty penny. I didn't necessarily have to have, you know, 32 gigs of RAM, but <laughs> fuck it, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, um... But yeah, that's that's the argument. Everyone's like, oh, you know, PC gamers, you know, I can't afford three thousand dollars or to continually upgrade my PC or whatever just to play games the same or better or whatever. But but people don't understand that it's not more expensive for starters. The games are cheap. Oh hell, we were just talking about we'd never see a five dollar game on a bargain bin table here in Australia for a PlayStation or an Xbox. Definitely not for Tomb Raider, which only came out last year it's less than a year old yeah yeah so you know you save a shitload of money there and that's assuming you're actually buying your games not that i can don't pirate any games or anything like that but yeah a lot of people do it yeah you so. do 
no comment. And then, <laughs> <laughs> what's, that web- what's that website that you just registered? <laughs> I condone video game piracy. <laughs> um, what was I talking about? But yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, it, by Gavin. yeah, you don't have to spend shitloads of money on a PC site. That, that pisses me off when people say that. Yeah. Even if you yeah. spend a third of that or even half of that, I think the main objection was that, you know, in in a generation of games of gaming where the gap, thankfully, has you'd think has been shut down uh, or closed to a certain extent between PS4s, Xbox three, uh, Xbox Ones, and PC, you'd think you know you know it's a level playing field now. But even now, we're still seeing saying it, yeah, the effects of you know, people wanting to, to run stuff constantly on Ultra, which is far and away an impossibility with even the next gen. Um, you know, scale it back to 75% and all of a sudden you bring the PS4 and the Xbox One into play. So mm. it just sucks a bit because, you know, one of, the big, one of the biggest and best things to come out of last year's E3 and obviously snippets of this year's E3 was um, seeing some Division stuff. But uh... in the whole, you know, um, when, and um, another thing is what's similar to that, um, where you know they they promote the games that they can do all these things as well. Whereas 2012 E3, where they showed footage of Watch Dogs, and then when it finally came, you know, it looks nothing like that. Yeah, nothing like what they showed. Did you and see the... that that person developed that E3 mod? Oh, is this for Watch Dogs? Yeah. Where you change, I think, some of the text file. Um, yeah. And it's like, cons- it's, yeah, it's like console equals one or console equals zero sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't done it. I haven't had enough time to have a look at it, but I will have a look at it, yeah. Mm, I think Total Biscuit did a thing on it and uh, said, Tao, yeah, make a few make a few changes and you can get uh, as close to the uh, the E3 mod, as what they're calling it. Mm. Um and whether or not, I mean, if you read any of the news articles that that Ubisoft came out, it's this backpedal, backpedal, asset this, asset that, experience this, experience that. We wanted to make it, yeah, there had to be sacrifices. I mean, it doesn't even feel like developers are running companies these days. It's it's the marketing people. Or, yeah. And so what what kind? As long as we throw the words passion, experience, and optimum. In there, it's like the the three magic bullets that pacify pacify users as best they can, whilst uh, still maintaining pre order numbers. Mm. Crazy. Mm. Um, I just don't like being misled. No, but no, but no one seems to. Yeah, you know, they people seem to you know care and get pissed off about it, but that's only almost just like a minority. Other people are oblivious, oblivious to, or they just don't care. Mm. Um, I, I I agree. <laughs> you went quiet there. Were you rubbing one out then? No, yeah. no, no. I, I was actually listening because I'm like, oh no, okay. that's, that's good. But I, I really I was gonna say because Watch Dogs is a game that you're playing, so I figured you'd right. still have some sort of level of interest. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like it hasn't died down at all. Like uh, since I have to go to my brother's place just to play it, I um kind of keep thinking about it but it's not like easy just like breaking in every day so um i i just want to like check out the story the story is like what i'm usually more invested in and um I, i'm finding like there, there's nothing so far that i've found that has fucked me over apart from probably just like um playing a mission and if you fuck up you have to start from the top again but like that that's okay with me like it's not that bad, not like uh, Dark Souls bad. No, uh, no, no, no. Yeah, it's just like you know, you just got to start it again. It's like, all oh, right, I'll do it this way this time. And but um, yeah, yeah, I, I'm still having a lot of fun with it. So it was, I was playing it last night, and uh, I steadily realised there was a trigger for, um, you know, the bad guy sort of jumping in a car, and you don't have access to a car, so you see that count, that meter counter going up you know, shooting up to 100 metres, 200 metres, and you're like... That's right, yeah. Even yeah. if I was to find a car, I would never be able to catch up with him. So I figured, okay, obviously, I'm not supposed to kill anyone. But it doesn't say that. Yeah. Um, so that took about three or four goes, you know, sneaking around caravans and, and making sure I didn't alert anyone. But 
that wasn't immediately apparent, but yeah, as soon as I did it, fantastic. Yeah, just like every other achievement in that game. It feels yeah, it feels good. It's a bit I'm, more, it's I'm more tactical than what I thought. Yeah. It's quite cool. Which is what I like. I don't it wasn't just a kind of a hack this and receive immediate benefits from it. It's a bit of thought that needs to go into it. Did you um Ben, have you played it? Which is this, sorry? Ben has, he has it, but he just hasn't devoted a whole lot of time to it. Oh, oh Watch Dogs. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, no, no. Are you paying um, fucking attention, Ben? He yeah, was, yeah. He was rubbing one out. That <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was his turn. <laughs> so I was actually, oh, no, I was listening. I was also just reading up on that mod and like a statement that um, Ubisoft actually put out as well, saying that, you know, which, you know, if they're right, would be, well, if they're telling the truth. Because basically they said, you know, the dev team is completely dedicated to getting the most out of each platform. So the notion that, we would actively downgrade quality is contrary to everything we've set out to achieve. Um, that's just part of part of the statement that they've put well, out. Well, that so. was a, there were a lot of big words in there. So. I was getting dizzy from all that marketing yeah. spin. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> should we There's play? Should we play it. marketing bingo? Keep keep reading, and we'll see if we can get any uh, we can get like passion in there. It's kind of like describing an the like, top gear guys describing Alpha and Mayo. It's like as soon as they mention the words passion and yeah. Um, well, I'll continue. It says, um, we test and optimize our games for each platform on which they're based. Optimize, good, yeah. yeah. Striving for the best possible quality. The PC version is not indeed... Sorry, the PC version does indeed contain some old unused render settings that we're, that we're deactivating for, deactivated for a variety of reasons, including possible impacts on visual fidelity, stability, performance, and overall gameplay quality. So, talking about a bunch of shit. Um, but, you know... I haven't heard I the word experience there, yet, but I suppose yeah. quality and experience are... Hand oh, there's a bunch of other shit, but they're just talking about modding and stuff, like, um, you know, their response to people modding the game. Um, but, you know, if they are telling the truth and you are a developer, you would be pretty pissed off if people were saying that you all dumbed it down sort of thing, but I'm mm. quite certain they have. So, yeah, that's pretty cool shit. So, they're lies. Ubisoft has turned into the new electronic arts. Yeah, it's such a shame though, because I mean they they hit so many home runs with other games. That's but true. they've always had games. Ever but since it's such a fifty fifty though, isn't it? It's like you oh, can yeah. literally toss a coin, and if you end up on Assassin's Creed, it's like oh my god, fantastic! You know, Assassin's Creed Unity looks unbelievable. Can't wait to wrap my hands around it, and then toss another coin. Oh, Watch Dogs. Oh damn! Sorry about that. <laughs> But I like it. Yeah. Well, I, I love it, but I mean, it's it. It seems like it's a harder sell to people now, based on all this stuff that's come out after its launch. They should just give it a fucking try. Well, they yeah. should. Pack it but that's pass. the thing as well. I mean, I'm I, I know I'm talking. I'm harping on about performance and graphics and everything. Obviously, that's not everything for a game. But <laughs> to play it on PC is it runs all right, but really it should be running at sixty frames, and. Hmm. Smooth as well. Like I don't care if it's not at sixty frames. Yeah, I know it should be whatever. It's not. Deal with it. But it's not smooth. It's like jittery. Um, it doesn't look anything like we were told it was going to look like. All that sort of stuff. That's that's what pisses me off. Yeah, it can have a great story. That's good and everything. But if it doesn't look like I was. If it doesn't look like what it was told it was going to look like, then yeah, that's what pisses me off. But that's the same with when Far Cry Three came out. You know. My computer at that time was like super duper top of the range sort of thing, and it just looked like utter shit trying to play it on PC. And that now is just like that put like a total bad taste in my mouth, and it's just like, yeah, I don't want to play that shit anymore. Yeah, you didn't like it, did you? You're no. gonna give four a go? Four looks yeah, good. Yeah, four looks good. I mean, Far Cry 3 now is seven bucks 48 on the same sale, so you know. For that price, it's pretty good. But if it ran okay, yeah, I'd play it. But I, I tried it again not that long ago. It ran like shit still. Hmm. Even if I turn everything to low, it's just, I don't know. Damn. Maybe your computer just sucks. Maybe. Nah, he's all right. He's okay on the computer side of things. It's a monster. <laughs> it's a monster. Uh, I'm going to go through a couple of other quick topics. Um, Batman Arkham Knight supposedly Microsoft had a bit of a made a bit of a potential boo boo since it was taken down immediately. February twenty four launch date twenty fifteen. Cool. 
uh, which coincidentally yep. is the day after The Witcher 3. So oh. how that's going to compete, I do not know. But still, if based on me liking number two, I would uh, definitely see Witcher 3 in my future. I'll, I'll go for Witcher because I'm really looking forward to that. Mm. And then you can get Batman. Batman. Batman? What? No, 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 Batman. Remember that? <laughs> Old school Simpsons, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I'm actually looking forward to this, Batman. Oh, so, so am I. Oh, my God. I mean, I know you're, you're, you're jizzing right now. But That's it. My pants I, are full um, of feces, according to the Battle Block <laughs> Theatre <laughs> review. <laughs> Um, what, what was it? Fifty? Or how, how many billion frames per millisecond? Or oh one? yeah, it's about like fifty squillion. <laughs> it's cool. yeah. Oh god. You know, uh, yeah, game aside, because thankfully we've seen that in action, and uh, I'll potentially be getting it on on a platform that can handle it. Um, you know, I I do get excited about the whole special edition kind of thing. You know, I, if I look around this room, I see three special editions, which. You know, yeah, functionally they don't do anything apart from sit there and stare back at me with their four hundred dollar eyes. But I don't know. I just like the like the thinking of another Batman figurine or limited edition Batmobile or just something. Mm. Yeah, just so I can go up to EB or JB Hi-Fi and just go one pre-order, please, and then know that um, with relative confidence that it's going to be a good game, and I get. A nice shiny piece of plastic out of it. Stupid, I know. It's, you know, it, you know, it comes back to, um, you know, childhood things. And with mm. the, with the, with Transformers being out recently in the in the loot crate, go check it out on my video, on my uh, YouTube channel. Oh, Transformers. That was the theme. Or well, Transformers was the theme for this month's loot crate. So there's a whole bunch of Transformers stuff, and I'm like, kids don't know how good they've got it these days. Back in my day. Here's where I get old and start talking about uh, in back in my day. It was, um, you know, it was uh, toys like Mask and Transformers and uh, Action Man and G.I. Joes and, and all that funky plastic stuff. Whereas now it's all about the gaming. There's still toys, but maybe it's just a throwback that I want a nice shiny piece of plastic of Batman. Uh, maybe a nice metallic die cast. One sixteenth scale of Batmobile that probably weighs like it's made out of cast iron. I don't know. Uh, sorry. And I wonder if everyone's going to whinge about this one as well, saying, "Oh, it's exactly the same as the other ones." Or some shit like that. Well, if they do, watch me march down to the offices at IGN down at uh, Walsh Bay and start banging on their doors. Not that IGN was to blame for the last one. GameSpot more was, I think. Mm. Games Although you love critical. GameSpot, I do. I love various aspects of of GameSpot, but uh, the girl, right? Reviewing, I'm <laughs> not going to convert, uh, confirm, nor deny that. But I am partial well, to. Well, that's usually a yes, then. No comment. The <laughs> I'm going to pull a ban and say no comment. No comment. She you guys aren't answering any of my awesome, awesome questions that everybody wants to know. She retweeted me today, actually. She uh, quite liked huh. something that I did uh, creatively. It's quite funny. What did you do creatively? Um, it was something... She said something about uh, not wanting to make a blanket statement and something about mobile users and how they're just the worst people in the world. And I agree with her. About, about what? About mobile use. You know, using the use of a mobile phone in one particular scenario and how it was just rude and you know the worst kind of people... What was the scenario? I think the person was at the front of a queue doing something, like maybe buying a rail ticket. I don't know. I don't know what the scenario was. Oh, okay. So I found a picture of a blanket and then just made a speech bubble coming out of it saying, saying I'm awesome. And they're just like, hashtag blanket statement. <laughs> kind of funny. Got retweeted. Felt the love and moved on. <laughs> and... You left that part out. <laughs> he just hasn't done it yet. <laughs> that too. It's 9.54 at night. Come on. Is it really? Just- I am but a man. Uh, it's like the perfect time to do it. Yeah, in the middle of a podcast. Who, Speaking who, of that. Who amongst man. us would do that? You fucking dog. 
I would. I'm gonna. I was about to say. Speaking of that, I'm gonna mute my microphone. Oh, In God. fact, hold on. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna hold my voice for a second, and I'm gonna click the mute. Hey. <laughs> Did that work? Not annoying to uh, anyone who's listening to this in the car <laughs> at all. It's hey, if like- you're listening to this, fuck ya. Oh God. Jesus. <laughs> Awesome. Trying to grow user base here, Ron. Cheers for that. Um, let's have a non-gaming topic, shall we? Yeah. Rambo 5. Stupid. <laughs> Fuck's sake, really? Come on. How this- come Stallone isn't dead yet? Hey, if anybody's a Stallone fan, awesome. If Stallone actually just happens to listen to this, can you just die or something? Sorry, was that really bad? Ouch. Yeah. I'm joking. I really enjoyed The Expendables. They weren't stupid at all. But <laughs> One, two, and the prospect of three. <laughs> no, actually, um, I, I, I don't. I don't care for Rambo anymore. I saw the last one. I'm just like, cool. I don't care. So he's, he's, like, like, so he's taken on Brian Dennehy. He's ta- he's taken on Brian Dennehy. I mean, he's a he's a man's man. He is. Uh, <laughs> he's taken on the Russian army. He's taken on uh, the Viet Cong. Militia or something, and now he's going to take on the, yeah, the a bunch of Me- aliens, Mexican drug lords. It's in Mexico. <coughs> Why can't he just take on a bunch of Americans? Oh, well, that's what he did in the first one. Technically, did he? Yeah, I don't remember <laughs> the first one. Have even. you seen the movie? <laughs> yeah, when I was like fucking six, when it came out, that's why they like they shouldn't be making more of them. It's a bit hard to believe action heroes when uh, the origins were 30 years ago and he basically hasn't changed his body fat percentage since then. Mm. Mm. He sags a bit though. Yeah, well, you won't see that over military <laughs> clothing. So yeah, uh, he's like equa- apparently he's hit, going to be the... Oh, sorry about that, people. That was my link there opening. Um, I didn't hear anything. That's, that's code David for of- anus, people. That is code for anus. No, the users would have heard me opening up a link. Uh, Rambo 5, it's quoted, quoted here on IGN as saying, Rambo 5 is Sylvester Stallone's no country for old men. Break out the spare ammo cans. The world has not seen the last of Sylvester Stallone's traumatized super soldier, John Rambo. Splendid Film has acquired the rights to fill to the fifth installment in the Rambo series. Um, whereabouts is it here? See if we can find any sort of plot lines or anything like that. Uh, so l- after laying waste to a small town police force, a Viet Cong POW camp, and a Russian attack helicopter, and the entire Burmese army, Rambo is tackling the Mexican drug trade. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Be greedy. I mean, the last one. Shit, that was like. I, I don't know if I've seen a movie more wild than that. I think it had. Didn't it hold the record for the highest body count? It was crazy. In a shorter span of time. Like, that, there was a person that actually went through and it did cutscenes of all the different, uh, you know, limbs exploding and being removed from various parts but of the body. Wouldn't um, Star Wars beat that? What do you mean? Because... Installments, you mean? No, no, no. Just, like, yeah, how many people, like, the oh, body no. count. Oh, well... They, they put a whole planet... planet. And then just like, on. Baz- yeah, a bazillion <laughs> fucking people die. And it's like, yeah, well, I don't think any movie's going to beat that. But this is like seeing people die and seeing people explode. And we like saw that. those people die. That whole planet exploded. <laughs> we all saw it. Yeah, That's if, if you turn matters. up the volume on that, you can hear like several billion people just going. Sorry. That's the thing. That, um, I'm, I'm an so older one. Obi- Obi- one fucking hears happened. that and goes... Ah, it was just like, you know, a million people's all screaming it in terror at once. He hears it, and you feel his pain. Mm. Not this Rambo bullshit. I not kill anybody. Ooh. Fuck off. <laughs> so we know Ron's thoughts on her. On yeah. uh, the possibility of Rambo 5. Yeah. Cool. Don't care. How about well, something we'll, a bit more looking light-hearted? Looking forward to his um, unbiased, Snap uh, review. objective review on it. Yeah, yeah, you- next week I'll, I'll review like five movies, all new, in a row, uh, that are all like a sentence long. Shit. Shit. Yeah, like one word long. Like, see it. 
this is gay. This one's full of shit. This one is just like dunking your head in a bucket of semen. So I'll, I'll do that. I'll start that. Ron reviews. Look forward to it. Damn. I might even try to find some uh, music for you. Oh, cool. Let's see how many plums you give it. How many plums up you give it. <laughs> Ron gives it two plums up. I'll, I'll think about the uh, rating system. Yeah. How many plums are you going to give this one? Well, Trans- yeah, Transformers is out. And uh, I think by the next time, uh, this time next week, there's another big one that's supposed to be out. Uh... Maybe I am thinking of Transformers. Who knows? Anyway. Mm. Oh, I, do I want, want to see, see Transformers. So do I. That should be a, yeah. an episode. Dinobots, Grimlock. That's it. That's it. It's all I, everybody I, should be watching the fucking movies for. Just Grimlock. Do you reckon he'll talk? I, I hope he does. I hope he does, because he's like a massive dumbass. He's like, me Grimlock, me kill peoples. Like he's the dinosaur equivalent of Hulk, pretty much. Like yeah, or yeah. Hodor from Game of Thrones. Yeah, well, <laughs> more more badass than Hodor. I'm sure Hodor's been like killing fuckers, but he needs help. But like, um, Hodor. Yeah, but like, no, fucking the Dinobots are the shit. They they should have their own like personalities. But um, because I'm sick of. Optimus. No offense, Optimus is awesome, but like... Well, IGN did a 25 to 1 countdown of the best um, Transformers over time. Oh, yeah? And Where did he come in at? I'll guess. One? Yeah. Grimlock? No, Optimus. Fuck! I was See? like, this is building to like Optimus being number one, and I called it at probably 11. Oh, he, he'd have to be one. Optimus? But, yeah, he'd have to be. Well, yeah. Well, like, was... Let me guess. Bumblebee was like second. No, he was. He was up. He was top five. I'm pretty sure he was like three or two or three or. What, Megatron, Starscream, uh, Starscream. All of the all the regulars were top tens, and you had these other ones, which I think are from the newer series, where um, yeah, there's like insect based ones, and oh right. I was Wait. I was gonna test them and see where if any sort of constructor cons because I had some constru- constructor cons. I would just say all the Constructicons because they're pretty shit when they're by themselves, but they're awesome when they make a uh, fuck. What's his name? If you if you know the name, put it in the comments below, I and it, I will give you a high five. Devastator or something? I think we. Can Devastator, say. that's the one. All right. Well, uh, don't put him in the comments below. Or pause <laughs> the video before I gave him the answer. <laughs> well played, Gavin. <laughs> you get the high five. I'm going to drive were, straight to your place just to give you a high five. There were other characters though which formed all together, though, weren't there? Yeah, yeah, the the Autobots had a bunch. Um, there, were, I think there was two for the uh, Decepticons, this? but I there was Constructicons, and I can't remember the others though. I just remember them the most, the mostest. See, sounds like you guys watched it like way more than me. I mean, I know I watched it, oh, but I don't dude. remember. I don't remember anything about it. It was it was just like when I used to watch it with like you know all the the fellows that I grew up with like. We would just have it on repeat, and mm. even the girls they would watch it. They knew all about it, and it was just like because that was like the only VHS we we, we all <laughs> could like put our money together to afford. Mm. And, um, so that's all we watched. That and I, I don't know. I think Ghostbusters as well. But like, yeah, that, where, where was where was Grimlock? Uh, Out of curiosity, where was he? What do you mean? Yeah, top ten. Uh, I think he. Yeah, I'm tempted to to rewatch it, but um, not at the expense of being distracted. Um, yeah, he he would have been up there, but it was good to see other ones that um, I thought potentially could have been forgotten about. Um, uh, I think Unicron, I think, was one of the like he was a planet sized one, I think. Yeah, yeah, he's huge. Um, but even Soundwave, I mean, I I just love the, the sound of Soundwave. Original Soundwave is the yeah. fucking shit. And he was so, the best. I I so wanted his toy when I was a kid, but like um, uh, I liked the Grimlock just a little bit more, so I didn't get Soundwave. Mm. Um, but the fact that he was like you know, uh, the the tape recorder, well, which is just you know how like, and rum. Well, that that was the good part. That was kind of telling me that the people at IGN you know actually had some fans of the franchise within it, and uh, they listed all three of the cassettes they had rumble they had ravage and then they had um oh christ what's the other one the bird squawk it was something like that i think (laughs) 
<laughs> hey, come oh, on, you're gonna annoy me. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to look this up. Yeah, talk to some of yourselves. <laughs> but yeah, um, we should definitely go and see that. Yeah, I, yeah, I do want to check it out. I, like, I, it just I, looks like a good popcorn flick. Yeah, yeah, but apparently it's three hours long and really disappointing. Yep. Who's the chicken at? Oh, uh, she's apparently useless as well. It's a no-no. Yeah. yeah. No, I, don't, I don't care if they're useless or not. I just want to know what they look like. They're not. In the uh, yeah. in the long-standing tradition of Megan No Thumbs Fox and the English chick Rosie Huntington Whiteley, they were both fucking awesome. I could stare at them for hours. I really could. I, I like not not in the movies. I could just yeah. No, there was that one part in like. When Rosie hunting and blah 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 blah, 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 blah whatever, whatever. Uh, yeah. um, there, there was this part in the third movie where uh, Sam is getting uh, the medal from the president or whatever, right? Laser beam. That was the name of it. Oh, laser beam. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, he's getting the medal, and it's all wide shots. Just watch the movie back. You'll you'll notice this too. It's just all wide shots, and uh, he's receiving the medal and that kind of shit and she's standing there she she's the only one who gets the close up like really close up mm. and it's just her face and you're like that's it's a little jarring that's like really bad like move, like filming like what the fuck are you doing there like it's like ah, I can see everybody just her face I'm not saying there's anything wrong with her face it's kind of like I don't know the Michael Bay must have had like a massive massive heart on for her or something because or it was just like, hey, see, we're going to show her face really close just to remind you, Megan Fox isn't in this one. So <laughs> here she is again. Hold on, wide shot. Here she is again. Or a wide shot. To maybe and save, right save money on all the special effects and stuff, they hired the Channel 9, uh, Channel 9 cricket, com- uh, cricket cameraman who are yeah. just, you know, just a <laughs> industry known for being just outrageous pervs and just, okay, let's film the cricket now. And, <laughs> and okay. they just look the chicks in the crowd. In between overs, it's like, right, titty watch, let's roll. You, you remember that? That was There was that part that was live and the girl uh, lifted up her top. <laughs> and um, the, the commentators are looking and it's just like, and there are some nice fans right there. <laughs> oh, oh. It, like, and that's, you know, <laughs> just as they cut away after she lifts her top. It's like, oh. <laughs> and they just kind of like a little giggle about that. But uh, yeah, that's on YouTube. You guys can go find it. Those girls are spankable. <laughs> Be the one and only occasion I actually, you know, not against my will, look up the word cricket. Yeah. The thing, I don't even like cricket. I just remember seeing it on the news and I was just like, oh, that's awesome. Mm. Are there anybody who doesn't get cricket yet? You don't have to, like, well, look it up only for the, um, for the girls. Don't look it up for the game. That game it's is awesome. boring. Awesome. I went to hey? one. I've been to one game my entire life, and it was a one day. And in the span of time that I saw that one game, I got sunburnt and it hailed. Wow! <laughs> in the That's same day, only in Australia. <laughs> How did that happen? Well, it was uh, so sunny, obviously, that I got sunburnt. But at some point <laughs> in time, it was um, it was probably one of the the bigger ones that was ever recorded in Sydney, like true golf ball size um hailstones that came this yeah this storm just came over and you know how usually a hailstorm usually is accompanied by like crazy hot weather as well mm. that the sky kind of gets that sort of green tint to it um and you just know a hailstorms kind of coming lots of evaporation out on out out to sea and then obviously that comes in cuz it's been a hot day and more evaporation's taken place but um, yeah, it was crazy. It's like, yeah, go Australia. Got so pissed on like vodka induced uh, infused watermelon. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and then yeah, Lassie parked at the Fox Studios, and next thing you know, there's freaking golf ball size hailstones coming down. Good times, good times, good times. <laughs> good game, though. I'm sure. Speaking of sport, do we want to talk about anything World Cup based? I know we might oh, have soccer. some allegiances somewhere. I've actually watched a, a bunch of them. Yeah. That's cool. Like I've stayed up like in pubs, wherever, just like getting smashed and just watching the games. I don't even care who's playing. Mm-hmm. But uh, wow, those Australian matches were shit. You know what? Anybody who's Aussie who's watching this, come on. I, I You know Australia wasn't going to make it. Come on. 
You just know it. You can feel it in your bones. And awesome. nobody agrees. Well, well, fuck. I you saw a funny heard. tweet today, and it said like Messi carrying. Um, God, why do I always get these memory blanks? Argentina, and like, uh, and Neymar carrying Brazil, and then it's got <laughs> um, Qantas carrying the Wallabies. <laughs> <laughs> Completely fucked that up, but anyway. Is it, Benny, I was going to ask you. <laughs> you get the gist. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna ask. Um, ben, more laughs from from Ben laughing at me rather than yeah, actual joke, which is oh, fair no, enough. That's, good. that's fine. Now well played, nice one. <laughs> I was, it was uh, very well told. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna ask you about the what happened that whole uh, Italy versus the last game. You know, the one that was on like last night. Italy oh, versus Spain. Um, um, uh, no. Um, oh fuck! Whoever it was, but like Australia, what, what, Australia, Spain. You no, 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 the bite. You're talking Italy. about the bite. Yeah, the bite. That's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uruguay. Um, Uruguay. Uruguay, Italy. France. Italy. Italy. Yeah. Italy, Italy. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, uh, I remember reading um, comments on it. Like, uh, it, w- it was on the news because I didn't watch the game. And um, I saw, like, uh, you know, I just clicked on that. Somebody bit somebody. All the memes are going crazy and that kind of shit. But mm. I look at the comments and, like, you know, every- <laughs> it's pretty fucking funny. It's like, um, you know, the people who log in and put the comments in, like, it's with their real names, right? And, um, you know, so it's like John Smith, ha, what a fucking psycho, you know, that kind of shit. And, you know, they should kick him off the f- field or whatever. And then, like, I don't know, uh, let me think of an Italian name, uh, Ben Salerno puts down, um, oh, no, that's bullshit. Like, you know, it's the game of soccer. Like, everybody who had a crazy Italian last name just kept on defending him. <laughs> I thought it was insane. It just went back and forth, back and forth. And these aren't, it's not the same one guy continuously um, saying like, oh, no, it's, that's what happens in football. Um, by the way, I'm moving my hands around like an Italian as I say this. And, um, <laughs> but like... But it, but it was the, the Uruguayan guy that did the oh, was it? Yeah, oh, not really? Italian. Yeah, I thought it was Suarez. Italian. I, that's that's yeah. what I mean. I didn't watch it, but like, I but they lost the game, right? Yeah, uh, Italy lost. Italy lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, uh, I think they were the ones. Oh, they might have been the ones saying like, "Oh, hey, they should look back at the cameras or some shit." I, I don't really remember. I just remember it. Everybody being like, because um, you know, every, anybody listening to this, I hate sports. I hate football. <laughs> Uh, I don't like, I, that's why I like video games. <laughs> They're a lot more fucking interesting than fucking sports, except, um, the state of origin. But, um, yeah, every, that was just fucking insane. I just wanted to see your take on, uh, on what happened there. I thought you'd be super pissed off. Oh, you being an Italian. Italian. Yeah, I'm Italian. Um, oh, Italians. Italians. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's funny when it comes to um, soccer because ever since, you know, we had that awesome run in 2008. What year are we in now? I don't know. Last time. 2014. We were in, 10. Yeah, 2010. We were going like awesome. And then the Italian team fucked us over sort of thing. The Italian oh, team? Oh, 2006 they fucked us over. Oh, oh, has there been a World Cup since then? Yeah, 2010. 06, I thought it happened, 10, in, two, I thought it happened in 2010. Oh. Fuck me. They might have done the same thing to us again, but I remember distinctly being at the Enmore Theatre in 2006 uh, with, funnily enough, another Italian mate called Ben. Um, and he was kind of heavily conflicted because he'd just seen like one guy just completely take a dive, which results in a penalty. And uh, yeah, and Italy go through and Australia don't. That was the yeah. year that you know Australia did really well. That was that was the first time they'd made it like thirty three yeah. years or something. Yeah. So like, the nation. Uh, that was buzz. that was great. Actually, that was great. Yeah, yeah, I loved it. Yeah. So I was, even though I'm Italian, sorry, even though I'm Italian, um, yeah, it still pisses me off. So I don't really care that Italy are out. To be honest. Wow. Couldn't give two shits. Of that they're group, gonna, they're going to ostracize you now, man. Yeah, probably. Oh, so so they're not even out of the World Cup altogether. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, only the top two people in your uh, top two teams in your group. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, Italy, I think finished higher than higher than England. So it's kind of like, and we're in the same group. So yeah, England are never going to make it. Oh, it's terrible. I mean, I personal stats. I'm over six when when it comes to games that I have woken up early and missed out on sleep to watch. 
Mm. Uh, it's be it Australia games, um, games where I've actually gone to the casino early on a Saturday morning of all things. Jeez. You know, where I could be laying in there like a toasty crumpet in my bed, but no, I decided to brave it and public transport it into the casino for eight o'clock and watch it there. Good on ya. And then, uh, yeah, the England games and the other sort of Australia games that I've I've watched here at home. Oh for six. So the moral of the story is, don't watch a game and they'll probably win. <laughs> yeah. Let's... Oh, speaking of sports, Origin. Yeah. Origin. Fuck go yeah. Blues. Go the Blues. Took it back. Oh, Fuck Queenslanders. So Fuck them all. <laughs> I hope the overindulgent tunts are fucking listening to this. They can <laughs> suck fucking a big bag of dicks. You know what? Eight years uh, we took it back. I don't care if they win it next next year. I don't okay, even watch. There are one-year-old kids that have never seen Queensland win the origin. <laughs> 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 I loved that meme the other day. It was kind of like that. Oh, that like is so good. Before the before the uh, the well not the decide obviously that hasn't happened but before that game two, it was like there are seven year old children that have never seen New South Wales win a series, <laughs> and then literally the day after, bang out come all these memes. There are one year old kids in Queensland have never seen them win a series before. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty funny. Oh dear. Yeah, I mean, I used to have uh, a kind of rule of thumb. I used to watch maybe four games of rugby league a year. Um, each state of origin and the grand final, but now, you know, it's just not, it's just not a Monday. And, and this is the old man part of me. I listen to it on the radio. Oh wow! When I'm driving out to see my parents. Wow. You know, I will time my trip to the point where I'm leaving the house at five to seven, so like get in there, turn that radio on, and I've got the most maximum amount of time. Probably got about fifty minutes. So I'll probably knock over the first half. And then I get to mum and dad's house and, you know, maybe get to watch the rest of it on TV. But yeah, I don't know. It's just weird. It's, it's like I need a wireless radio and like some announcer just go. Fuck, and a walker or some shit. Yeah, some sort of Stannis stair lift and a pair of glasses to listen to the radio. Well, fucking yeah, and after uh, all that excitement. Tube or whatever the fucking yeah. yeah, catheter all that have a yeah. cup of Horlicks and go to bed at nine o'clock. Well, I was going to say, yeah, let's sit down and a cup of tea after all that excitement. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Hope you don't get a heart attack there, Skeelzy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and here you go. The score is 4 <laughs> 0. But um, reinforcing That's... what Ron said, yeah, fuck Queensland. Yeah, uh, it's completely just agree. Like Sorry. A, we copped so much shit, like for seven or oh, eight years, wasn't it? Seven or eight years. Yeah. So. <laughs> and. Every time's like, man, you guys fucking can't. It's like, yeah, well, there's always next year. <laughs> and then we got us like, fuck yous, fuck yous all. Yeah, there's I'm always- going to go up there and personally rape every single fucking Queensland person. Wow. Yeah. That got dark real quick. <laughs> that escalated. Quick. So to Corthal, Beeves, uh, Crow, and Griff. Fuck yous. Well, many I didn't say that. There's four. Like us, there's four. Oh, okay. uh, we will be taking that trophy, uh, maybe not as vehemently as what Ron decides to put it as, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll take that trophy. Thanks. Cheers. A good game, though. Good game. Uh, you know what? The stupid thing is, is they were in, a shit game. <laughs> they were in both games, like, and even the even the professionals couldn't call that game. I remember listening to it was when I was going out to see mum and dad that Monday night, and the game hadn't happened. Good old Andrew Johns gets in and goes, I think New South Wales New South Wales are gonna win and they're gonna win comfortably. <laughs> I'm like, dude Fuck you. You played this game for God knows how long and even you couldn't see the signs that it's it was never gonna be a whitewash, ever. Yeah. No. Like, and they, and they might win game three, but I mean, who cares? We've got yeah. it, we've got it anyway, but I mean even he couldn't call the fact that it was gonna be a tight game. And and in the first game as well. Like crazy that's true like um that second game was just like, Could have gone oh, like we, we had so we had so many chances yeah and it was such a low scoring game um oh fuck like I, I kept on like losing interest i'm just like oh fuck. just somebody tell me when there's a fight and i hate the non-punching <laughs> rule yeah that's that's what origin is fucking good for yeah. despite whoever fucking wins or loses i just want to see them throw the punches and like <sighs> everyone misses the biff 
Like, yeah, that, that was what I used to like lean forward on the couch for. Like, I, because it was yeah. the first exposure to rugby league ever. And like, bearing in mind when I used to watch it years and years ago was when I was probably only been in the country maybe two or three years. Like this, the sport was new to me, and just the fact that you know. Every at any given time, there could be you know a cheeky little elbow which turns into a full blown bench clearing extravaganza of violence. Yeah, did you see the fucking Queenslanders towards the end of the game? It's they full just like cl- like clearly just fucking elbowing and stomping on our players mm. because they knew they'd lost. It's just like and I was sitting there going, "Fucking somebody get on the fucking field and rape that cunt!" And like I'm just yelling shit out at the screen. <laughs> Sorry, there's something on my mind. <laughs> Wonder yeah. what it is, but um, like uh, when when it's blatantly happening, seriously, fuck you guys, fuck you guys for playing like that. Well, yeah. I, I photoshopped the Jonathan Thurston graphic, which um, I Thurston was, was the one doing it. He's oh fuck. I don't care if he listens to this. If he does, suck a dick, you shit. <laughs> <laughs> I opened my mouth to say something, and then you just that that's exactly what uh skills was going to say anyway potentially but yeah i don't appreciate you jonathan thurston i don't i don't, I don't appreciate you i tolerate you but i do not appreciate you I, I i'm just picturing him in his headgear like um sitting down on a couch next to a fire with the podcast playing he's like mm, it's like i well really like these guys skills <laughs> well played yeah. then his head just drops he goes no no touche mm. But that's the thing. I mean, who headbutts a guy with he- wearing headgear? I mean, that's fucking soft. Mm. Mm. Yeah. But I changed the 161 points, which is like his total origin uh, scoreline. But they, there was just, an, and, it, and this is the benefit of Photoshop, there was just a nice amount of gap in between 161 and the word points to just to put the word fuckwit in there. So <laughs> he was awarded 161 fuckwit points. Well, he earned those. For headbutting a guy in headgear. He earned those. He earned them. Well done. But even Twitter was blowing up after. It was like hashtag dog and hashtag you're a dog. Hashtag who headbutts wearing headgear. Yeah. It's true. It was a massively, massively dog move. Dog move. It was just like, you fucking shit. Mm. And like, especially, especially because, you know, everybody knew they'd lost. Even they knew. Just like, well, fuck it. I'm just going to fucking, like, well, I'll just be a cunt to everybody. Yeah. I'm going to stick my dick in his ear. Fuck it. I don't give a shit. You lost it. I don't give a fuck. Sorry, I, I don't know if that's what he sounds like. Okay. Is that what he sounds like? Well, to prevent a, uh, a an oncoming heart attack, how about we uh, change the tone a little bit? Because <laughs> we completely uh... glossed over the destiny beater. Oh. Uh. Wow, that was. I, I I don't. I'm not interested in Destiny anymore. I just don't think it's. I, I no, could, no, we've uh, mentioned this before. When, when it when it came, we mentioned in, it with Griff. No, but the beta wasn't out there, was it? Yeah. Did we talk a whole bunch about it? Because I thought it was more of like okay. an E3 no, roundup. No, we didn't. We didn't talk about <laughs> gameplay though, really, did we? No, we didn't. I'm just doing. Oh, okay. Um, looks looks it looks like uh, Borderlands mixed with. Halo. Halo. We did talk about it. Yeah. The MMO. You, uh, well, I, I remember the comparisons, but I just didn't know. Yeah, yeah, but no, no, no. Yeah. In terms of gameplay, no, 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 for sure. Yeah. Because I've caught a couple of J streams in the last uh, last couple of days when when it was running. Um. Yeah, I think the the general underlying tone to everything is that people just want more of it. They just don't know how expansive it's going to be. Yeah. And if uh, it's, at the moment, know, it's just Halo. Yeah. With an MMO, it needs to be, you know, <laughs> if it's good enough, you'll dedicate yourself to it and play nothing else. Um, and if they're not going to give that sort of support where, you know, they're constantly updating it and doing all this stuff and it's just like continuing a game, then, yeah, people won't invest that time with it. Mm. Like, it's just going to die off. But it sounds like it should be pretty cool. Yeah. And fr- from the beta gameplay I've seen, it looks like it's fun too. It's not a uh, PC game. Well, not confirmed anyway. No, I, it eventually will. Mm. But, uh, I mean, obviously I don't know that for a fact, but I'm s- s- safe to say that it will be. But, yeah. Inside knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> ben has inside knowledge. Does he? I know everything. Hmm. I How? 
well, I don't know. It's just got dim yeah. contacts. Sure do. No, I don't know anyone. But they'd be silly not to release it on PC. Yeah. Something mm. as big as that. That'd be crazy. Um, that's kind of... I did have another couple of topics, but it's not sort of crushingly huge. The Master Chief helmet is coming out in for a motorbike helmet. That's pretty cool. I've already said to my brother I'd buy it for him if it comes out. Oh, fuck. Now you're going to have to put up. <laughs> yes. I think I've, se- I've seen people actually make their own. Mm. Um, but like uh, some of them from were from like, you know, ODST. Mm-hmm. Like they just made them because they were more like rounder. They didn't stick out as much as Master Chief's one did. But like uh, I'm sure like you can find it. Or something. Yeah, kind of like that. Yeah. But um, I thought they looked pretty cool. But uh, it's good to know that they're actually uh, making a real one. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. I can't see it retailing for 400 bucks at home. Oh, yeah. I mean, a proper motorbike helmet will be about $700, $800. This is like designer in the sense that it looks like a Master Chief helmet. But it's and it's offers no protection. Yeah. And it's only $400? I don't think so. Paper mash. If it... Yeah, if it is, it's not going to be very safe. Wow. Yeah. So, unless they mean it. so you're still going to get that for your brother, right? It, it, well, I mean, it, it's kind of like counterintuitive to, to what a, a hardcore biker... I mean, my brother's got two motorbikes. and uh, Does he like Halo at all? Well, he, he played it, you know, back in the day, but, I mean, he hasn't had the regression that, that his big brother has in getting back into gaming. He's kind of gone the way of... Um, being a cop, being a cop, and and, and shooting stuff, and <laughs> motorbikes, and cafe races, and all that sort of stuff. So cafe, I'm sorry, cafe races. Yeah, you type in cafe racer, and you'll see exactly the kind of bike that he's got. Yeah, style of oh, I thought it was, I thought it was like a race in a cafe, and I'm like, what? You like, you <laughs> oh, have yeah, to totally. Yeah. It's really hot. I bet you I can make this latte quicker than you, you mug. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah. No, it's uh, it's yeah, it's a particular sort of low slung sort of style of. Um, upside down handlebars, low slum, yeah. quick, all that sort of stuff. My brother's got, he's got a Ducati. He only got that a couple, couple months ago, but he's, he's, um, God, what did he get before? I think it's a Honda. Wait, would he, would he have to, like, if you bought him that, uh, that, uh, helmet, would you, wouldn't you have to, like, buy him, like, some kind of suit of armor that look, resembles the rest of his armor? Oh, yeah, make him eight feet tall and have him. Well, he doesn't have to be like, cool. He just has to have like the green shit on. That'd be hilarious. Like just to have him like rock up to a cosplay in, in the on, stuff on, he actually rides around on a motorcycle. Then just go morning and just walk into the premises and start, you know, having photos taken. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Gun on shoulder. Yeah. Just throwing plasma grenades everywhere. Don't be alarmed. They're just filled with blue d- washing up liquid. It's okay. <laughs> Uh, did you guys have any topics that um, you wanted to hash over or have Ron aggressively react to? <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> you have little faith. <laughs> One of these days I'll say something, you guys will be totally surprised. You know, I'll be completely genuine about it as well. And well, There's a topic on Forza here, hang on. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, Minecraft has now sold 54 million copies across all platforms. More than PC. It, when you break that number down, it actually works out to be more than PC. More than PC, yeah. And that's that, that doesn't include when it's going to hit next-gen consoles either. Hey, by the way, you know, just then you just mentioned Minecraft. Yeah. Um, Minecraft, right? Yeah, I just saw this thing right here because I'm a massive fan of <coughs> coughing. coughing. Ah, hey, high five, guy. Um, uh, Apex Twin. And um, I just read here that uh, Marcus Person, or Notch, as he's known, uh, just bought no? uh, a really rare, like, unreleased Apex Twin um, uh, vinyl, I think. I think it was a vinyl? But like he's never like Apex Twin never released it. If anybody knows who Apex Twin is, he's um, an electronic artist. He's not a fucking DJ. He just <laughs> creates all this crazy, crazy shit. He works at um, EA. What? No, no, he's not a DJ. No, I thought you said he works at Electronic Arts. No, no, no. shit, no. Uh, 
He's, he's way, way cooler than that. He's better than that. Um, yeah, but like uh, he has heaps of music apparently that he doesn't ever release. Everybody wants him to release like new music. Ben, I know you dig a bit of Apex Twin, right? Fucking love it, yeah. Yeah. It's like it's amazing. I've I've seen him live once and uh, some of the music's just fucking mind blowing. Some of it's insane. Um and some of it's really chilled out and cool. Um but uh yeah, he apparently sold like I think from a through a Kickstarter campaign, um, to raise a, a lot of money. Uh, I think it was forty six thousand dollars to and it was the it was Notch, the creator of Minecraft who bought it, who won the unreleased album. Sweet. I, I think that's pretty cool. Mm. I didn't realize well, he's got shitloads of money, so <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize how rich he was. Yeah, well, it's the third most selling game of all time. Yeah, I still need to check that out. I, I mean, even if you're taking a dollar profit from that, yeah, pretty I mean, fucking honestly stoked. You're set. Pretty much mm. set. But yeah, I thought I'd just mention that really quickly because um. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, and it's funny how, like, so many of them, or the majority of them, are consoles. But can they mod the game, or do they just have the base game? Oh, uh, well, you're not sure. Oh, I'm not sure. Well, I think that's uh, when you, I don't, when I don't you think build a server, like, you're, I mean, they they give you free reign to pretty much do whatever you want, as long as you buy. Yeah, you buy the base game, but the then base, there's mods yeah. for it where you download all the extra files and mod the game, so you play like a different version of it. I wonder if those console versions, because then they're only getting like thirty percent of the game. I mean, that'd anyway, be cool. It it's just uh, like I um, every single like uh, mod I've seen for like Skyrim is always just done by PC guys. There's PC yeah. users all the time. Well, that's the thing. They they're, they're not on console because you can't mod a game file on console yeah. it's like yeah. the whole anti-piracy thing so mm. you guys don't have like the mad nude mods <laughs> <laughs> oh, i'm just mods continuing the joke back. from last time those are the but, only uh, one right babe. yeah there, there are no other mods for, for skyrim <laughs> It's like I'm when you go to a, when like you go to a new country, it's like you learn the swear words. It's like when you're modding a game, the first thing you do, you make everyone new. <laughs> yeah, I did. It's that just like the original time. fucking mods, like playing uh, Tomb Raider back in the day, and like going over to a friend's place to play it on their PlayStation, <coughs> and just thinking straight away, just like, wait, like can, can you get like a nude patch or some shit like that? Like, that was the only thing you ever thought of. Yeah, and now it's a reality. And mm. Ben has, if anybody goes to Ben's room, like it's just everything he's got. Like he's he's gone to Japan and he's got those anime figurines from like uh, comics and cartoons, you know, all the manga stuff. And he's actually painted them all flesh colored so it looks like they're nude. <laughs> but Ben's yeah, I didn't actually that. buy any of those, but I do have a lot of the anime. Figurines. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that's the closest thing to modding that you'll do, right? Do you mod your stuff, Ben? Minecraft, hell yeah. Oh, no, not with Minecraft. Oh, wait. Did you ever play Skyrim? Uh, yeah. I um, had on it on PC. Uh, both, yeah. Oh, right. I had it for PlayStation 3 and PC. Oh, cool. Well, you, yeah. you never modded anything on that? Yeah, I did the nude mod. Oh, God. I wasn't fucking kidding about that. I, I actually <laughs> really legitimately thought you were joking. <laughs> No, I'm not, I I'm not disappointed. So, you know. I don't, no, I don't I, joke I, I, about nudity. <laughs> it's serious business, okay? It's not a, a joke. No, because I didn't know which ones to get, so I was just meant to, I think it was Curse Gaming, and just looked up, like, the top 10 um, mods for Skyrim, and number two was the nude mod, so I just got, like, the top 10 and just did them all. So it was, like, the HD pack, the nude pack, and then a bunch of other shit, I don't know. Um, that was pretty cool. A double D pack? Yeah. <laughs> There's so many you can get. It's fucking ridiculous. It's like turning, the turning the, the nude pack. <laughs> and turning um, the dragon into Thomas the Tank Engine is just fucking hilarious. That's pretty funny. So you're just like there in the field and the dragon comes in here just going, choo choo, <laughs> choo choo, and getting like louder and louder. And you just see this Thomas the Tank Engine, which looks actually like <laughs> mad graphics, just like flying through the sky. <sighs> Oh, is, is, is Thomas the Tank Engine nude? Obviously. <laughs> you just then you went, oh, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> he was just like really interested in a naked ta- uh, Thomas the Tank Engine. 
which I, <laughs> makes no sense to me, even though I asked it. But you confirmed it, so thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Nice. Yeah, that was, it, was, it was good. It was, yeah. it was good. Yeah. 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 It's good. Ah, oh, bless the news here. Well, I think if we're kind of done and we're going to scrape the bottle of nude modding barrels, then uh, we might uh, call it a night, I think, champs. Yeah, it's pretty much... It's, it's, champs, champs? It's almost champs. a bit of a quiet week, in a sense. But It is, and I kind of prefaced it that at the, at the beginning when there's no real sort of releases as such. There's a bit of news, but, uh, you know, stay tuned for a bloody good October and lead up to Christmas. September. Wait, is October next month? No. I don't think so. No. It's not even the month after that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Or the month after that. What, what's happening in October? Well, October's just a good month, historically. October, November, and even, I suppose, with Destiny being released in September. I was born in October. No wonder. Zing. See? Yeah, I like that one. That was really good. Halloween. You know, it's just a good month. Well, I look forward to it. <laughs> Indeed. All right. Well, that was episode 26 of Quad Feet. Thanks, as always, to old Ronnie and to Benny Amino. Pleasure to be here. Thank you very much. Thanks for uh, the audio special. I'll probably put some gameplay over the top. I have no idea what it might be. Maybe it will be Battle Block. <gasps> oh, uh, we might play a game afterwards. Let's see. Let's let's fly that up the flagpole. <laughs> As always, like, share, and subscribe really helps me out and gets uh, gets the awareness out there of such a podcast. We're been going for a while now, so most podcasts don't get past the old double digit. So it's uh, it's good to see that we're still going. So yeah, share it around, share the love, and we'll see you on the next podcast. Bye for now. See ya. Bye bye. Ciao. Ciao ciao, Bella. Hey. <laughs> Ciao, Bella. See you later, England, from the World Cup. You're fun, you useless. Bye.